Hello and welcome to this how-to video on isolating power ground shotted nets using Caliber LVS Recon. Consider that you have RV results of a dirty design with multiple shots. These shots can be of different types and spanning multiple layers. These can be power ground shots or signal power shots or signal ground shots or signal signal shots. In order to do quick debug and get faster turnaround time, you might want to target specific shot types, for example, PG shots for shot isolation. In this how-to video, you will learn how to use Caliber LVS Recon to target PG shots for quick shot isolation. Caliber LVS Recon SI can be executed with the following command line option, Caliber-Recon-SI to invoke Recon Shot Isolation Run. The Recon SI run operates on an input rules file similar to the regular LVS one. The dash SI switch can take various modal arguments such as PG or IO or all depending on the type of shot isolation you would want to do. The PG modal argument would do selective shot isolation for only power ground shots. The IO modal argument targets non-PG shots that is the signal to signal shots or signal to power or ground shots. The on modal argument would target shots for all net types at all levels of hierarchy. In this case, as we are targeting only PG shots, we specify dash SI equal to PG. We then execute the recon SI run. After the run, we can view the design and RVE. Here we see a PG shot in RVE. We can now use interactive shot isolation ISI feature to resolve the shot. The detail view shows list of polygons which can be highlighted in design rev. We notice that for the PG shot, there are 7 polygons that are part of the shot. Let us highlight the complete shot by layer to get comprehensive picture of the shot. Now let's highlight them individually and see what might be causing the shot. Out of the 7 polygons, polygon 1 and polygon 7 have already been assigned to ground and VDD nets respectively. Polygon 2 seems to be a metal 2 polygon that is part of the ground rail. So let's assign it as ground. Polygon 3 is via. Polygon 4 is metal 3. Polygon 5 is again a via. And then Polygon 6 is a metal 2 polygon but this seems to be part of the VDD rail. So let's assign Polygon 6 as VDD. If you look carefully at Polygon 4, it seems to be a connecting path between ground and VDD. So for that reason, let's virtually remove Polygon 4. Now we can use the verify short feature which would kick off a quick verification run rather than a full LVS run to validate whether the net assignments would remove the shot or not. On verifying the shot, we notice the green tick mark which means that the shot is fixed by virtually removing Polygon 4. Now that we have found the shot fix, we can use the save remove polygon feature of Calibre RVE to save the shot fix. We can go to file select save remove polygons and then save the shot fix in a directory. The shot fix will be saved in a ASCII results database format. After using the save remove polygon feature, designer can fix other types of shots using Recon SI. And finally, when they want to make edits in the layout, they can open up RVE and open up the saved ASCII results database. They can do this by going to open database, selecting the DRC format, and then selecting the saved RDB. They can then edit the layout using the saved RDB. They can highlight the short fix into designer, show only the fix mask and the layer below it, and then delete the layer of interest. Saving and retrieving results using save remove polygon feature can have several advantages. It enables designers to incorporate shot fixes from different design teams. It also helps in making shots review and debug less error code. 
Once the designer has made all the edits using Save Remove Polygon feature, they can save the layout and make a final short isolation run to make sure the design is short screen. Thank you for watching this Calibre how to video guide. I hope you find this helpful.